Hey guys, this is Coop from GarageGymReviews.com and today I want to talk to you about building a budget home gym. Without a doubt, the question I get more often than any other is, Coop, how can I build a home gym, a garage gym, on a budget? I'm in the process of rebuilding my garage gym. I'm also helping a few friends build theirs. And so I'm kind of thinking a lot about how can you do this as cheaply as possible. I'm going to give you a ton of tips and a ton of ways that you can figure it out. So make sure you're watching, stay tuned. We've got a lot in store. Okay, so no doubt about it, home gyms are expensive to build. Well, actually, I wouldn't say they're expensive to build, they can be expensive to build. Just like any hobby, you can pretty much spend as much, much as you'd like to spend on this hobby, on building a garage gym. When I'm building my garage gym right now, it's gonna be pretty costly, but I have a lot of friends that are, they're just looking to build a budget, bare bones setup to get started. When I first started my garage gym, like six years ago or so, I started with just the basics. I lived in a duplex and I was trying to make ends meet. I was in college, my wife wasn't working, I was working and so I was just trying to do everything I can to start a home gym and I did it as cheaply as possible. In fact, I probably made some money building it. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a second. Okay, so the first thing you can do and the thing that I recommend before anybody does anything else is figure out the things that you need to actually start training, okay? I'm not just talking about the things that we post on our Instagram that are super hype and cool and look fun to use. I'm talking about just the basics. So what do you need to accomplish your goals? Now, for most people, that's gonna be a squat rack, that's gonna be a barbell, that's gonna be some weights, and that's gonna be a bench, okay? And some sort of pull-up bar, either attached to the squat rack or on a wall. For most people, that's probably what you're going to need. But that said, some people have different goals, like they just wanna lose weight, so having some sort of cardio equipment is definitely gonna be effective. For most people though, if you're just watching this video and you're like, I don't really know what I want, what I need, I'd suggest getting a squat rack, a barbell, bumper plates, or some sort of weights, not necessarily bumper plates, you can go with steel, and some sort of flat bench, okay? That's gonna get you the majority of workouts and you can get incredibly strong and also incredibly fit with just that. Okay, so after you've determined the things that you need, the second thing I would do is I would check the almighty Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, okay? This is the holy grail for buying equipment. Now I get it, it's pretty fun to buy new equipment, to go on Rogue Fitness or Titan or you know any of these other places, I don't wanna leave anybody out, but any of these places that you can buy equipment, because there's tons of them now, and buy you know the best equipment, a full decked out gym, like it looks really fun. But the reality is a lot of people buy equipment and end up reselling it because they didn't like it, they didn't use it, they wanna upgrade, they wanna downgrade, those sorts of things. So you can get equipment for incredibly cheap. And, so when I first built my garage gym, I built it pretty much entirely on Craigslist. I would set up basically notifications so that if something showed up on Facebook Marketplace, it would shoot me a message, or I set up what's called If This Then That, IFTT, which basically if something posted on Craigslist that met my specifications, it would send me a notification on my phone, I'd then go there, email them, call them, so I could get it. That's how I got rowers, that's how I got all sorts of things. So what I do, is I would say, I'm looking for a rogue squat rack. I put it in there, I'd get a notification, I'd be the first one to call them because I'd wanna get it for as cheaply as possible and then I'd negotiate, okay? Learn to negotiate. I know it's not the easiest thing, sometimes it's uncomfortable, but if you really wanna build a home gym on a budget, on the cheap, then you're gonna to need to negotiate, okay? So you can find weights for incredibly cheap, you can find squat racks for cheap, barbells, everything's out there available, and I get it, some people are in different areas, but if you look hard enough, you'll eventually find it. You just may have to have some patience. So the third thing I would do is, while checking Craigslist, and this is kind of an addition to number two, is learn to buy and resell, okay? I know a lot of people that have built their home gyms, and I'm included, that I pretty much built my home gym, and I made money doing it. The way I did it was I'd buy something that I didn't really want, but I knew other people may want, or I bought something that was kind of crappy, I'd refurbish it, and then I'd put it back on the market, okay? I'd take better pictures, I'd fit, clean it up, take the dust off, I may paint it a little bit. I wouldn't take a ton of time in redoing it, but I would make it so that basically other people would actually want to buy it. So I pretty much built my whole garage gym around the idea of I'd find something on Craigslist that I'd like, 
or that other people I think would like that I thought was budget price, I'd buy it, clean it up, take good pictures, put it back on the market and make quite a bit more than what I was selling them for, okay? So that's a great way to just take some extra time and get your garage gym for free. It works. Okay, so the fourth thing I would suggest, and this is really talking more about the people that wanna buy new equipment, is I would try to buy as much at once as possible, okay? That sounds kind of counterintuitive, but you gotta understand the equipment that you're purchasing is very heavy, okay? And if you're purchasing heavy equipment, that means it costs a lot to ship, unless you go with a place that offers free shipping, but then we're talking about you're actually paying a little bit extra for that because it's free and it may not be as cheap to send it to your area, and they're kind of looking at the average over the entire map of the US. So if you're buying from a company that's charging shipping, which you're probably gonna pay less if you buy from a company that's charging shipping, trust me on this, then you wanna buy as much as possible because once you reach a certain limit of weight, the more weight you add to it, the cost doesn't like double or triple. It just kind of goes up a little bit. So if you're buying a squat rack, it would probably behoove you to also buy your barbell, your bench, your weights, everything all at once if you're wanting to buy new, okay? You're gonna save a lot of money that way because you're saving a lot on shipping. If you buy it all at one time, and I get it, you know, you get your paycheck in and you wanna buy it and you know, you're rewarding yourself, I get it, but listen to me. Have some patience, save up the money you want, wait until that product is available and you can buy it all at once and then make your order. Trust me, you're gonna save a lot of money that way. So the fifth thing that I would suggest is wait for deals, okay? And specifically, Black Friday deals. I'll put a link in the bio so you can see all the Black Friday stuff that happened last year and I'm also gonna be updating as companies tell us what they're having for this year's Black Friday. But this has pretty much every company, everything they've offered, and Black Friday, without a doubt, is the best time to buy gym equipment, okay? One reason is because the most popular gym equipment ro company, Rogue Fitness, only sells, only has deals, really, on a majority of their equipment one time a year, and that's Black Friday. And that includes a lot of shipping deals, things like buy five items, get them for five bucks, exclusive like equipment, limited edition stuff, and also just stuff that's a lot cheaper, okay? So if you're wanting to buy a new home gym, build a new garage gym with new equipment, then you're gonna wanna wait till Black Friday. Now, I get it, if it's at like right after Black Friday and you just want new equipment, it's fine, you can find good deals. It's not like these are astronomical deals, but you can save a lot of money this way, and I think it's worth waiting for, okay? We see the most people buy equipment at this time. It's because this is the time that you can buy deals. So lastly, my sixth suggestion, my sixth point, is to build as much equipment as you can, okay? So get in the habit of being DIY. Now I get it, not everybody is into that, not everybody has the tools. I understand, so some of you, if you're wanting to build a home gym, you may just buy new, but if you're on a budget, one of the best ways to build a home gym is by building stuff. When I first built my garage gym, I did so much DIY stuff. I built pegboards, I built sleds, I took a tire and I cut it out, I found it on the side of the road and then I added some wood in the middle and then added a post so I could drag it. I mean, I pull up bars, you name it, I probably built it, okay? I've seen people build lat pull downs, squat racks, I mean, it's possible to build just about everything, anything with just random materials, okay? Is it gonna be safe? Well, that depends. So I suggest looking for equipment that you wanna build that is kind of accessory stuff and you know isn't gonna cost you a ton and doesn't have a lot of safety issues involved, okay? But you can build a ton of equipment. I'll put a link in the bio again so you can check out um, some DIY articles that we've done. Um, I mean, I think this is really, this is how the home gym, garage gym culture started, is people just decided they were gonna build a home gym at the house, they didn't have a lot of money, that's why they weren't paying for a gym membership, so they started building stuff on their own, okay? I love this part of the community, and I think I'd like to see it continue to grow. People not buying stuff, people building stuff. It works, okay? If you wanna get strong, it's pretty cool to build stuff with your own hands that builds your body, okay? But this has been Coop from GarageGymReviews.com. Let me know some questions that you have about building a budget gym or maybe some ideas or things that you've done that have helped you build a budget gym. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. See you next time. Peace.